Oh, hi, every. Hi. hi, honey. Did you bring the groceries? <laughs> did you bring the honey? Actually, I don't need to. We got a shitload in here. My God, what do you see? What's back here? Running killer bee nation. Oh God, this just doesn't stop this year. Here we are in the middle of October, and it's exciting. Let's walk around here first, and then I'm going to get my other gloves on. Too. We're cutting comb, sweetheart. Where are you at? Excellent. So come here, and this window was open, and I closed it. And if you look in the window, come over here and look in the window. Yes? Did you bring me some toilet paper? Oh no! You Please. always catch me on the pooper! Um, <laughs> God darn, what are you down. doing? They don't call a honey pot for nothing, huh? Cut you with your pants down. Put my suit down. <laughs> my stinger up. <laughs> <laughs> hey honey, uh -huh. would you come here and put your head right down here? And look up. Look up. Oh wow. How long do you think it's been there? Well, the way these guys are going, 20 or 30 minutes. You see it? Yeah. Silly, huh? And just, I mean... just now noticed activity? <laughs> is that ridiculous or what? Ridiculous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's got to be up at the top at least, what, two feet two wide? Two feet wide by a foot and a half long, oh. maybe two foot. Mm -hmm. It's just huge. Good lord. Uh, can we go? Could, I'm going to close that door. I want to close that door right there. I'll go do that. Can you see if you can? Because yeah. that, that way they'll be trapped in here and die. I might grab a can of expanding foam just to seal it up too. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, no. I don't know. See if it'll close first. Okay. And I'll pull it from in here. Ooh, let the bees out! <laughs> We can just prop that closed, it'll close good enough. Yeah? It's closed. Yeah, there's still traffic top. Yeah. So I gotta so find do a stick to push against it to push it through. Can you see if you push it now? Yeah, see that's what so even tape would do it. Gotcha. No, I see like a stick and like a cinder block. Prop it against here and you know. Yeah. So. Um, pile over here. Here we go. We might have something. Okay. So I discovered a good uh, new security. There we go. Perfect. All right, honey. Let's go lock ourselves in the bathroom. With the hordes of bees and cut this, cut this comb down. We don't even need to use any spray adhesive at this point. Because they're going to die in the bathroom. Alright, come on in. And I got my bucket. And I washed it out even. Aren't you proud? Mm -hmm. That's still wet. Um... This is kind of hard because it's such a small space. Yeah, you need, like, do we have a flat, a uh, flatter mm, one? No, we don't. This is it. This is the only one we have. So you know what I'm going to do, huh? Uh, let it fall in garbage bags? No, uh, I'm going to put it in here. Uh-huh. I'm going to cut it and put it in here while you come. Okay. Well, we'll leave the door open, but who cares? They'll just go outside and die or whatever. But I need to pop up my light. Wow. I'm gonna have to get it of you pulling it out. Oops. Kinda sounds like a porn director. Aha! Got on my the honey shot. Get you pulling it out. Now baby oh baby. Mm -hmm. 
man, there are just a million of these. Look at all that pollen. See, they're all going to the windows. This is really going to be a nightmare here a little bit. So I'm going to clean as many out as I can so we don't have to do it at the, at the shop, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is going to be very straightforward for us. You know, just cutting, cutting and putting. There it is, another piece. Heavy. Look at that, look at that nectar. Middle of October, everyone. This is really weird. You have national security calling you today. I probably have a job for you. Oh yeah, well, yeah, we do the removal for FAA. Say. FAA and... Oh, yeah, okay. We wouldn't say yeah. FAA, that's for sure. It's good news. Anyway, we have a big job and a camera. A tower for barber to come up. We do the removal for everybody. Honeycomb. New restaurant called the Honeycomb. I was going to say the property owner is very earth friendly. And so we know this comb is clean unless it gets into other crops. Oh yeah, no, there is nothing around here. There are no crops. Mm -hmm. There's pecans and mesquite. But the pecans are more than three miles away. So guess what? It's all mesquite. Nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, part of the reason why this gentleman has so many bees flying in on his property is he has an oasis here. Water in the desert. Water, and flowers. He even said yesterday on the phone, oh, I got a lot of flowers, but said there aren't any out in the desert, right? Yeah. But when people build an oasis in the desert, not just be the thing to do. But because of Africanized bees, maybe not so much. Look at that. That is just going to be delicious, honey. This is this is our kind of comb. Mm -hmm. Right here, look at that. Getting mm -hmm. pretty good, aren't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweet love, look at that. That is going to be delicious. Oh, my God. That is food of the gods. Or superheroes, or both. Oh, we were caught that. Look at that. Oh, our friend's going to be shocked when he sees this. Yeah. Huh? Can we leave him a piece? Pardon? Can we leave him a piece? I don't know if he ever wants to see. <laughs> he got stung so many times this week. Oh, really? Previously, you got stung, what, 12 or 20 times? In what the head, it? yeah, in the face. Really swelled yeah. up bad. Yeah, he's he's been living with a nightmare for a long time, but you've got to take steps to be proof your home. Look at this demarcation, this line here, hon. Okay, so we've got brood right over here. Right. They're all eggs, right? See them? All larvae. And then this is honey and pollen. So we're going to see what it looks like on the other side. Hopefully we can end up, yep, look at that, another line. You can see it just so distinctly. Oops! Oops. <laughs> Do you want to explain why your honeycomb is different from the honeycomb that they use in Big Agro? Yes, okay, so I would love to, hon. We are the only people in the country that get wild honeycomb and actually to sell it for human consumption because it is the purest. Now, when people have bees out for pollination, that's the only other place you can get honeycomb, unless of course you're going to keep bees, which we do not recommend anymore. Just too mean. This is all beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Oop, there's some larvae over here. See it? So, this is all wild, uncontrolled. There are no farms around in this area. And so this comb is all just wild plants. Mostly native desert plants. Mesquite, cat claw, all the cacti, a few of people's fruit trees, but there aren't really that many around in this neighborhood anyway, because this isn't a neighborhood. <laughs> right? So, our honey is unique because you can't find it anywhere else. The only place you can get it is from us in the world. And this wild home like this, we literally risk our lives to get. See? Now look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And this is all uncapped. Look at that pollen, huh? Wow, huh? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, is that going to taste good? I didn't taste it already. Mm -hmm. Nice light orange. So what you're saying is your honeycomb has pollen. Propolis. Pollen propolis and no GMO, no dusted crops, no possible chance of contamination. This is where real honeycomb comes from. This is where we get the Viking honey, because this is what the Vikings ate. So, we're getting down to the bottom on this one, huh? We did not expect this, did we? Mm-mm. And again? We never do. Oh, Look at that, and it's all uncapped nectar. That's amazing. So it looks like they haven't been here that long because this is all beautiful white comb, right? Yep. I'm going to grab that bucket and take it out, and we'll put it in the garbage bag or something. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want me to grab it? Look at my pants and boots. You got the bee's knees. Why, who let the knees out? I mean bees. <laughs> you guys just, just stay right here. Jesus God, look at them all. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a haul, hon. Look at this in the sun. Wow, huh? Mm -hmm. Jeepers, this is so beautiful. Look at that nectar. Wild, rarest honey in the world. Wild Africanized killer bee honey from Cochise County. Wow. <laughs> we did not expect a haul like that today, huh, hon? No, we didn't. We're going to come back here. Yep. Oh, wow, yep. Look at that. I think they're dirty. <laughs> we shower, I think, don't you? Yep. Dirty bees. Stinky. So, let's see what they do when it rains, hon. Hey, you know what they do? They go, oh, it's raining. Do they do? They're very technical and very scientific. So there we have it. Boy, we got here not expecting that, and we'll look at what we got. This is a short but sweet one. But we're on this. We're going to look for other hives on the same property. So stay tuned and go to KillerBeeGuy.com, of course. Try to beehive yourselves. And um, so there. <laughs>